Good morning, y'all. Out on my morning walk. So I just put this on yesterday. The iMatch system. And I got the, uh, well, I already had this. I bought that the day I bought the tractor, the two inch, or the ball, the ball adapter. I bought that and put it on. So I took off the backhoe yesterday. I'm going to take it out and show y'all that before I go on my walk. But I took the tractor out, played with it for a little bit yesterday. I got almost nine hours on this, uh, 8.8 8 or 8.9 hours. But uh, so, if you can't tell, I've been killing my grass with this tractor because that boy is super heavy. That's why I need to get that backhoe off was because of uh, how heavy it is on my line. So, what I did, check this out, y'all. And I think I did this all wrong. I think I did it all wrong, but I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, so I put on the box blades yesterday, uh, played around just a little bit with it right here just to see what it would do. I think I like it. I'm gonna take that box blade and drag underneath this whole thing so that I can make it lower. Cause I had a lot of problems with uh, the rocks. Even when them folded down, they hit underneath here while I was trying to put this, uh, take this off. So I got a couple pallets. And basically, this thing is the easiest way to pick it up is with the sitting on a pallet. So I pick it up and put it down on a pallet. I've been having the easiest time with it like that. I played around with it yesterday a little bit. This is something I don't know if I did right. If you look, it doesn't even look like it's... <laughs> I don't know what it's resting on right now. But uh, it don't look like it's resting on any of the... <laughs> any other legs right now it don't look like it but I got it off and I think I should be able to get back to it so that should be good let's get started on that morning walk y'all I'll show y'all some of the stuff I plan on doing with that uh with the box blade basically I'm gonna come and run through it with this or run through this with it but right now my main focus is trying to smooth out the trails. Really, I'm gonna use the trails to learn how to use this tractor because I really don't wanna tear up in my yard. Like, I want this to be back to having my lines like I normally do next year or this year, I guess. It's, it's time. So, basically, this is that rock I gotta get out because this is the wildflower bed and I want this out or yeah, I want it out. I want it completely out. This thing is huge. I'm probably gonna flip it over. But so with that box blade, I plan on coming through the trails. And if anybody watches this this morning, let me know, are my trails too muddy to run a box blade through it right now? And I'm gonna show you a couple stumps and I'm gonna ask y'all if y'all think that the box blade will rip them out like this right here. That's a pretty big little, I mean, it's a, that's a honeysuckle stump. Do you think a box blade would take that out? Or do I have to dig it out? I don't know. And I'm a little worried because I have quite a few of those honeysuckle uh, in here. Now, if you look at this though, is this too muddy to use a box blade? I'm saying it's going to be this muddy even by this weekend. Look at that. Look at the puddles that I have in my yard. I want to know if I can pull a box blade through here. I guess I'm going to find out. Because I got a ton of stumps. Little stumps. And those are all my little tripping hazards. So, I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Little areas like this, I want to flatten it out, smooth it out. I've been doing all this smoothing with a, with a pickaxe. So basically I've been coming in and knocking out the high spots with a pickaxe. That's been part of my workout. And now this is it. Like I'm gonna go ahead and start using the box blade to come back here. And I'm saying once the box blade gets it good and set up and ripped up, it should be perfect. But here's another area right here. See things like this. Will the box blade rip that out of the ground or will it stop my tractor? I think it'll rip it out. We gonna find out. I'm ready. See areas like this. There's all kinds of rocks and debris in this area. 
and then I got a huge stump like this. I know that box blade won't get this stump out. This stump or this stump right here. Those are pretty big stumps. You know, I don't feel like a box blade is going to be able to handle those. But I do want to get like high spots like that out and I'm going to drag that dirt down into this lower area. So that's what I'm going to do is just start out by dragging high spots to low spots. I got a high spot up here that I really want to get out. This right here is where I always felt like it was like now that I put dirt here, it's it doesn't make my tractor like tip. But it's so it stays so muddy here. I just don't want to bring the tractor through here with all this mud. And I don't know if the box blade is capable of handling all this mud. But I'm saying when I watch YouTube videos, I feel like I see people who have muddy situations every once in a while, but not this muddy. Or maybe it just looks this muddy to me. But I will be bringing that box blade back here uh, this weekend, hopefully tomorrow. And I'm going to even try and use the box blade to clear out the area where I plan on building the pond, which is this area right here. And this is going to be a pretty big pond. I'm going to go ahead and try and take all this out. But I think I'm going to take the box blade and try and drag some of the dirt away to where I want it to go. Basically, I'm going to use the, the box blade as a dirt moving implement. I'm going to try and scoop it. I'm going to try and carry it to make piles out of it and then scoop it up with the bucket and transport it with the bucket to where I want it to go. So basically, I'm trying to scrape the surface and that's what I'm going to do. But over here, this is somewhere I'm going to have to get these rocks out now because I am going to come through here. Like I just put all these rocks down so it wouldn't be so muddy, but it's still muddy. And it's because of the drainage. This is where the water flows through my property and heads that way. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do here so it can continue to drain, but it doesn't stop, uh, it doesn't make it so muddy to get through here. It's not horrible, but I don't like the mud, especially not on my tractor if I can help it. Uh, so right here, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through here and uh, this is going to be probably where I do most of my composting at to start off with. I think I'm going to do most of my composting back here because this is the furthest part of my property. And if it stinks or it looks bad or anything like that, nobody will ever know. So I'm going to bring that. Uh, I'm going to bring the tractor back here and rough this up as well. Or smooth it out, I should say. And then I got one other area that I really hope that this box blade could do something with. I mean, obviously, I wanted to do something with all the trails, but this is my biggest problem area up here. Well, actually, it's a couple problem areas. Let's go. Let's go look at a couple different things right quick. So this area right here, I want to drag this and level this out. I don't like this area at all. And then all of that comes through here. And all of this needs to be taken out or smoothed out or leveled or something. I've been running a four-wheeler through it and it's been helping, but I'm saying I gotta get all that leveled out. Plus, if y'all remember, I came up here and did dug this out with the backhoe and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I love the backhoe, but backhoe seemed like you could just do more damage in your yard. <laughs> I mean, I gotta push this dirt back and level it out. So I'm gonna use the box blade and the front bucket, I'm gonna push the dirt back and then I'm gonna use the scar fires and clean this whole area out. This is where the RC track was supposed to be. I think now that I have the tractor, I should be able to get through here and clear this area out and make that RC track happen pretty nicely, pretty easily now. I got a couple more stumps I need to get out, but I also have these big rocks in the ground and big cement pile areas. And I'm hoping that that box blade will get all that out. Well, uh, I be trying to do my morning walks every morning there about something different. Basically, all I'm saying is I just get out and walk in the morning. Hey, I thank y'all for paying attention and watching with me every morning. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. And some of y'all, especially the ones who've been helping me, giving me pointers on things I need to do. I appreciate y'all because to be honest with y'all, without y'all, I'd be doing all this stuff for nothing. And I wouldn't be learning what I'm doing. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm not trying to act like the person who knows everything. What I'm saying is, I feel like I'm the type of person who's trying to learn everything. I don't know anything any differently than anybody else does. I'm just trying to show people my experiences and hopefully my experiences help you with your experiences. I mean, whether it helps you get through them or it helps you not make the choices that I make one way or the other. I hope that something that I do is helpful to everybody. And I just wanted to say good morning to everybody. I'm about to go ahead and get burning. Got a little bit of paper, but I ain't gonna be doing a whole lot. I'm about to head to the pool so I can't stay out here too long. Just wanted to come out and do my morning walk. Think I'm gonna make it a regular thing because I do see that some people are keeping in touch with me. And if it helps you, it helps. I mean, it helps me. I'm not going to lie. I look forward to getting up and commenting to everybody in the morning. Everybody who I can. And I say I appreciate y'all. I'm about to head to this pool. Hopefully my my step counter tracks this morning. I will be showing y'all my step count. If y'all want to, you can follow me on Shaw Speaks on Instagram. And you can also follow me on Shaw the Barber. I post most things to Shaw the Barber on Instagram. But then things that I don't think that everybody's going to want to see or hear or talk about. I am starting to post those to Shaw Speaks because if you're in the fitness, I don't want to advertise my fitness so much on my barbering page. And I got a lot of people who come to my barbering who don't like to see me with my shirt off. <laughs> hey, but that's all right, y'all. Hey, so anyway, thank you all again. Another good morning. Today's Friday. Make sure y'all get out and do something. Get some steps in. Get some activity in your lives. And once again, I want to say thank y'all. It will be a video dropping today at noon about the uh, the tractor and putting. Uh, actually, today would be the day I brought P Penny home. So, or not Penny home, uh, the day Penny was delivered. So anyway, once again, thank y'all. Stay tuned. This is your boy saying good morning, and I'm out.